Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. And in this video guys, I'm going to teach you and guide you how you can use Java version 13 to create JavaFX applications inside the latest version of NetBeans or the newer versions of NetBeans. So in my case, I'm using version 11.3. And as you already know guys, the JavaFX module is not included officially starting from the JDK 11. So uh, what we could do is download separately the JavaFX uh, module and then add it to our project. So in NetBeans IDE or particularly the newer versions of NetBeans, you have to add the module every time you click or create a new project. So as you can probably remember from our previous tutorials, we could click on this and probably we couldn't see the option here to create JavaFX application or we could see the option but every time we click on this and click on next then it's going to complain that we don't have the right um, JavaFX platform. So it's not complaining right now because I'm using um, old version of Java which is Java 1.8 so what we could do here is you know use newer version of Java and we're gonna be using Java version 13 uh, in this tutorial. So what we could do first is go to a website and I'm going to have the link in the description box below so you, you can follow along with this tutorial. So this is a website that we could download the um, JDK with um, JavaFX support included or JavaFX module included in the JDK. So all the community distributions here are free to download and use without restrictions. So basically guys, this website or this company, uh, they're just, you know, building the Java release and incorporate the JavaFX module or um, any other uh, features that they want to include in the JDK or whatever software that you want to uh, use. Now, here we could uh, see that they have um, Java 11 and it has support for Java effects. And earlier I've said that officially the module for Java effects is removed from Java version 11 or to the latest uh, version of Java. So if you want to use Java 11, so you could download the file here. So all you have to do guys is select the version that you want. So there are uh, several versions here, 6, 7, 8, 11, and um, they have long-term uh, long support for you know this uh, versions, 6, 7, 8, 11. And if you want to use Java version 13, you could select that and then choose the right operating system for you. So if you're using Windows, you could use Windows, Mac, or Linux um, software or operating system. So in my case, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to select that. And then you have to use here the architecture for your you know, operating system. So you're going to be um, selecting here. So I, I, in my case, I'm using 64-bit. So I'm going to select that. And of course, we want a package with JavaFX support. So we could download this, guys. And this is actually, uh, I think, um, only 261.4 or 54 MB. So we could download that. And of course, guys, um, it would you know depend on your inter internet connection how long you could you know download this or how fast you could download this particular file so we'll start the download okay and of course guys um, every time you download a file and in this case guys this is a zip version so all we need to do is go to the downloaded file let me show you that so I have here the compressed file of the file that, uh, you know, we have downloaded. This has the JDK with effects support. So what we could do is extract the files. 
okay and here you can see the support for the JDK with um, effect support so all you have to do guys if you want to remove the um, this you know uh, strings or the versions you could remove that and you could um, try to rename this into more uh, friendly name for example uh, Zulu 13 okay so all you have to do guys is place this for example you want to place this in a directory that you have an access and um, probably the, the best part or the advisable path would be the C drive and then uh, as you can see here I have versions um, 13 and 14 and this has the classes I mean the files that I could use to create JavaFX application okay and of course guys if you go to the uh, inside of the file or I mean the folder you could see all the necessary um, files that we could use and the next step guys is go back to our NetBeans IDE and go to tools and then um, you could click on this Java platforms so I have here Java version 8 Java version 14 and I have already added the version 13 of um, the download file so what you could do is add a platform right here and then just select uh, Java standard edition and then you could locate the file that you want so for example we have downloaded the version 13 right and click on next I'm just gonna name this um, Zulu and then 13 2 because I already have the Zulu 13 in my platforms so click on um, finish by the way guys it auto populated the platform sources and the platform Java doc for us so you don't need to you know browse that because it populated all the necessary strings for that and click on finish and it should be added here in our uh, platforms so what you could do is close this and now every time you click the new project you could click on the Java effects option in Java effects application under projects and then click on next so now instead of using Java version 8 you could select the different versions that you have downloaded and it won't you know complain that you don't have the right JavaFX platform so basically we just downloaded the version 13 so you could select that and click on finish okay so, so for example we want to rename this project Zulu and click on finish and of course it's going to um, generate the project for us and as you can see here we already have the project and we could readily run our project right now so we need, we just need to run this okay in order to see the output of our project and as you can see here we now have the default uh, window for our new project so that's it guys on how you could set up your java effects application and you could use java version 13 11 um, to create java effects application inside newer version of netbeans so in my case i'm using 11.3 so again guys thank you for watching and if you like the video uh, please um, subscribe and uh, if you have questions you could post questions in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.